Oh, yeah. fair enough. How are we doing? A World Sim Series MX5 Cup, Season 2 for me. Round, I think it's five. It might be four. Uh, race three on Magione. Uh, didn't do any free practice for this one. Thank you. Put an exhaust on your car, please. Uh, and I had my tea before this race. And before having my tea, before eating it, I spilt a whole lot of boiling water all over my hand. Um, so I fairly severe cold for this race and the next race. Uh, which was very annoying. Um, peaked my adrenaline and I would blame the adrenaline more than the pain for, uh, for, for my inability realistically to succeed. But I did qualify on a 24.5 which I felt was a good time. Uh, only four um, competitors in this uh, in this race. Um, there's Gazeka Garrido, um, I think he was in the previous race, right? Uh, Daniel Fulton was in the previous race as well. I don't know about the um, Michael Grindato, Grindato maybe. Um, I don't think I've seen him before. Um, but uh, qualifying was okay. Um, everyone seemed to be high pace in this race. Um, I don't imagine... I, I imagine like Michael's actually going to be... Um, a competent driver. Um, he just didn't get a clean lap, probably, with him having two incidences. Uh, anyway, here comes that race. Fucking idiot. What do you mean three incidents?
coincidence, of course, because that one was mine, wasn't it? Me, come on now. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck for sake! I fucking hate that corner.
fucking god sank. That I jump. <sighs> so, so little control on brakes on that. Obviously, I had to try and push it into that corner to try and catch them. So, you could probably tell that uh, the testosterone and the, and the adrenaline were running fairly, uh, relatively, at least high there. And that's from the pain caused to me from a fairly nasty scald. Uh, you can also see Daniel Fulton um, has a tendency to be a bit fighty. Um, and as well as not just being a a stalwart defender <laughs> of positions um, will also just ram into people um, if he doesn't like them. Um, that might become relevant in the next video. It's interesting um, that I should actually have seen all of these events just in time for, uh, for, for Race 4. As in Race 4, I believe he probably suffers from, from adrenaline overload as well. Anyway, yeah, uh, if I'd have been able to keep up with uh, with Mr. Greedo there, or Mrs. Greedo, whoever they may be, with thou Greedo, um, then I I would have been able to learn more from them in in terms of where on the track that I'd be able to get faster, um, because at this point I was I was hitting a twenty four five brick wall. Um, uh, and I, I was struggling. I'm pretty damn sure that I can get low 24s and into the 23s, but I'm not 100% sure, other than tyre temperature, where to get that from. Now, in terms of me getting used to the low tail brake, um, if I could get more consistent braking into corners um, from getting used to the low tail brake, and for it not 
skipping away from me because it's a lot more pressure um, to, to put down on the brake. Um, it skips away from me a little bit. I've got a lump of wood behind it at the moment. It's not screwed to the floor or anything. Um, so I need, I right need to build a cockpit to be fair, I think, to, uh, to take full advantage of it. But in, in the process, um, I, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure whether or not consistent braking would get me into the 23s and 23 is my target in this race, uh, or I should say on this circuit. Um, shame that a span, uh, I really, really hate that corner. Um, I struggle so much to keep it un under control there. The biggest problem I have with that corner is it's it's right at the top of third, or it's right at the bottom of fourth, um, but if you do it in either gear at that speed, then you go onto the kerb and you cannot touch the accelerator until you're off until you're actually completely off the curb because you'll end up spinning one wheel and then you spin around as you saw me probably doing that um so yeah th there's there's probably half a second to be gained on that corner by having hotter tires and oh uh, that corner will probably help keep heat in the tires as well uh, as well as it will give um a better run into the penultimate corner um, which then gives you a better run out of the last corner, which then gets you a better run along the straight. Um, I know I'm a second behind um, 22s on both sectors. Um, it's not that I'm losing two in one and that I'm up to speed in another. It's that I'm losing a second across both, uh, on, on both sectors. So two seconds across the entire lap, uh, which is, realistically speaking, like two tenths a corner. Um, I could probably claw that back uh, if I was able to follow somebody to give me a little bit more of an idea as to where I was slower in some corners than others. But, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that on this occasion. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of yourselves. See you in a bit.